I look into your eyes It's like watching the night sky Or a beautiful sunrise Well, there's so much they hold And just like them old stars so that you've come so far To be right where you are How old is your soul? Well, I won't give up on us Even if the skies get rough I'm giving you all my love I'm still looking up When you're needing your space To do some navigating I'll be here patiently waiting To see what you find Even the stars, they burn Some even fall to the earth We got a lot to learn God knows we're worth it No, I won't give up I don't want to be someone who walks away so easily I'm here to stay and make the difference that I can make Our differences, they do a lot to teach us how to use the tools And yes, we got here, we got a lot at stake And in the end, you're still my friend At least we did intend for us to work We didn't break, we didn't burn We had to learn how to bend without the world caving in I had to learn what I got and what I'm not and who I am I won't give up oh, all us even if the skies get rough I'm giving you all my love I'm still looking up before you that they have chosen to spend their lives together. It is an occasion which is both solemn as we reflect on the seriousness of this decision, and it's festive as we share a most important and joyous event in the lives of these two friends. So, Art and Doreen, you are here in the presence of witnesses to be joined as husband and wife. Marriage is an institution, and it's honorable to all who maintain true fidelity. It unites two hearts and lives, blending all their interests and sympathies and hopes. It involves mutual love and devotion, service and sacrifice, purity and constancy. The marriage obligation, therefore, should not be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently and discreetly. I now ask you, Art, do you take Doreen here present to be your wedded wife, and do you promise to love, honor, and cherish her in joy and in sorrow, in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity? And to be faithful to her is become a good husband as long as you both shall live. And surely do. And I now ask you, Doreen, do you take Art here present to be your wedded husband? And do you promise to love, honor, and cherish him in joy and in sorrow, in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity? And to be faithful to him as become a good wife as long as you both shall live. Okay, and at this time we'll proceed with the ring exchange. So, uh, we produce the bride's ring first. 
The wedding band is a symbol of the value and the strength of a marriage. The ring is continuous, it is unbroken, it goes round and round forever, without any interruption. It unites you into the bond of marriage. Art, if you would please repeat after me as you place the finger on Doreen's hand. Doreen, receive this ring. Doreen, receive this ring. As a sign of my true love. As a sign of my true love. With all that I am. With all that I am. I honor you. I honor you. Okay, and now Doreen. Can you please repeat after me? Art, receive this ring. Art, receive this ring. As a sign of my true love. As a sign of my true love. With all that I am. With all that I am. I honor you. Perfect time for the comments. <laughs> Art and Doreen, go into the world and fulfill your lives and hold fast your ideals. Give to one another new experiences of joy and challenge one another that you may grow. May the love that you hold for each other continue to mature, that your life together may be a source of joy and inspiration. Therefore, as judge of the Dearborn County Court and with the authority that is invested in me by the governor of the state of Indiana, I now declare you husband and wife. And you know what comes next. <laughs>
plus the fact that we could come back out here and find and buy this house. It took two of us to do it. And, but all of you um, have been such wonderful friends. And to that, I, I drink to you. Well, I'd like to just add something. Um, that's what I want to thank everybody for being our friends and, and for being part of our lives and being part of this ceremony. It, it makes it very special. I think being able to do this in the house made it even more special. Um, I'd like to just say something straight to the camera for those of you who aren't here, who should be. David, my lovely brother, who has yet to make a trip to the United States in 32 years. Um, Hopefully soon will be the time. David, I love you, and I know your, your thoughts are with us. Sylvia, who is my aunt in California, who is much more than an aunt to me. Um, she was here this summer, and it's a little too, too fast for her to be able to come back again. Sylvia, I wish you were here. I love you dearly, but I know that, again, that your thoughts are with us. And finally, and Art could talk about his family, um, but we have some very best friends, Rick and Sherry, that I've known for... 25 or more years, and um, I wish they could have been with us. I wish you guys could have been with us, um, but we're thinking of you. And Art, if you want to say? And Bruce and Bev, I'm, I'm sorry you couldn't be here. Um, the original plan, obviously, was for us to have a ceremony in June, and now we don't know if that's um, possible, although when we get back to the East Coast, we may be able to do that. Um, but to David, my um, brother-in-law, and to Aunt Sylvia, <clears throat> I wish you could be here. And Rick, um, I'm glad I called you this afternoon to get your final blessing, final blessing on this. Um, anyway, here, here. <laughs> well, that's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> we get the whole sliding Why don't you get on my shoulder? That's a good idea. I'm sorry? We can go all the way from that edge to the edge of the curtain. There. Okay. So right, right here? Arch should sit on the chair and Doreen should sit on his lap. There you go. You have to put it in the right here. Yeah. Front. We can get all the way to here. Oh, you can? Okay. Okay. Okay, right, nice group photo. That was a nice photo. I'm, I'm just trying to protect him and sit down at the last minute. So. <laughs> all right, everybody, come on, come on. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. You can't get over, you know, I'm here, so you're going to have to do it. You need to get over a little bit more. You can go up to the edge of the, of the blind. How far do you go that way? Oh, to the edge of the, the window. Alright, Chuck, you just run over here and jump on Doreen's lap. <laughs> I'll get right behind. Okay, this little side. spot here? Or should That's you good. Right 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 next to you. I'm not locking you on here. Someone has a right 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 <laughs> Is that Bill? Okay. He wants to okay. deny the photo, though. You're smiling. Don't say it's... Don't want to know who would stick your finger in my ear. I said you said it. I didn't say it. I said it's an automatic. Yeah, there's, there's a marriage <laughs> coming apart. Tina, I thought you said it, honey. <laughs> Which one you said it on? <laughs> I can't see it. Come on. I can't. Yeah. You don't know that. I didn't do that. I did this. All right, here it comes. All right, everybody. Uh, quick, behave yourself. Yeah, yeah. Kirk was hiding behind. Okay, now he's getting to sit on your left. I don't think so. Did that hurt you, honey? <laughs>
Thank you. 